Hey YouTube, I just wanted to show you my Don Post Studios Prince Charming mask. I had this mask for a bunch of years since 2009. And here's the funny story about um, this mask is that I didn't know what it was called or where it was from. And just right now, I just learned that this mask is from Don Post Studios. Because I actually read the tag. I didn't even bother reading it. But, um, yeah. It says that it's from Don Post Studios. And it tells, like, when it came out, what year. And the year that it came out was in 2009. Right here. And, yeah, I heard, I've heard of Don Post Studios, that they're like, you know, they're historical, because they've been around since the 90s, 80s, 70s, or, I don't really know, but, like, a bunch of decades, century. And, um, I heard that Don Post Studios is no more, and that just made me really kind of happy. You know, no, I'm not happy that they were, you know, went out of business, but I'm happy that I at least got one mask from them without even knowing it. But the cool part about this mask is that I actually got this mask for free. I didn't, like, buy it. My brother actually gave it to me back in 2009 at a Halloween festival. And um, he, he never told me what it was called or where he got it from. And so I was really happy he gave that he gave it to me. But um Okay, let's get to the review. Okay. Well, the detail in this mask is amazing. I mean they got these little bumps. The veining the veining looks so detailed. You could tell that, you know, this guy survived a burning. The details is, is just awesome. And yeah, it looks exactly like its picture. It has hand punched hair. The eye holes are, are awesome. I could see out of them perfectly. Breathing's okay. Wearability, it fits my head just right. You know, I'm happy that I at least, you know, got one Don Post mask for free. But it, it is a shame that they went out of business. I don't know what year they went out of business, but all I know is that they're no more. Well, guys, uh, thank you for watching.